Fellas, 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 in this video I'm giving you the best snipe filters so you can snipe these new cards from the retro set that just came out today, volume 2. We got Opal Jordan, Pink Diamond Giannis, Lonzo Ball, some more diamonds here as well. Let's get straight into the filters guys. If you're new to the channel, if this video helps you out or if any of my videos ever helped you out, consider subscribing because most of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed and I would appreciate it if you did. And hey man, I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get into the filters. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is, well, we're going to go up progressively. So we're going to start with the lower tier cards. We're going to talk about the diamond cards that are in this set. So we're going to go diamond. The thing is, retro doesn't actually have a set. So you kind of have to, like, I mean, each one of these retro players have their own filter. As you can see, like retro Steph Curry, retro Michael Jordan. There's not one overall retro set. So it's kind of hard to snipe all these guys together. I have no idea why 2K set it up like that. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. So if you wanted to snipe Steph, if like if you really want that card, honestly, just go Diamond Steph because he's the only diamond in the game. You could go Retro Steph as well. Actually, no, this one is diamond. I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is an option for you. I mean, this is a potential filter. This would just be a Steph Curry filter. The only thing is, I don't know what the price of that Steph Curry is going to be. Actually, let's try to see if we can find him right now. Let me see. Because if he's cheap, you can snipe both of the diamonds on the same filter. So let's take a look. All right, well, right now, he's not even going for a buy now. So I don't know what that Steph is going to settle at. Right now, he's not a buy now. If he happens to go to a buy now, a decent filter that you could be able to use is Diamond Steph. So you would just go, obviously, Diamond Steph, right? And then you'd find that cheapest Steph, which is that one that's on the auction house right here, this one. Right, he's gonna be cheaper than the new one because this one is actually type whack. It's got no Hall of Fame, no gold badges. So we're gonna find the cheapest one on that. So this step is going for 14,000 MT. So what you could do, there's two options. This is the first option. When he, when the new step, the MVP one, when he starts to settle in price, which would be like three or four hours from now. Once he, once that happens, you look at his price and you can set up the filter like this. Now. If the MVP step or the new step is going for an expensive price, the odds of him popping up on this filter are very, very low. But regardless, it's still a possibility. So I would probably set the filter to 12,000 diamond step. At this point, you should still make profit if you were to get that cheap step that from the League Series 2, the the, the whack one, and sell them back for 14,000. You should still make profit off of that. You know, like 600, I think. So go ahead set it up like this now if the step is expensive like if he's not a buy now the new one you can still use this filter to hopefully get him it's just going to be less likely but another thing you can do is you can just snipe retro stuff by the theme so obviously just go theme until you see retro Steph and curry the goat by the way best shooter of all time thanks and then you just put minimum buy 500 but i don't know if he's going to stay above a bid or not so it's kind of hard to predict i wouldn't do this right now i would do this later on when the prices start to settle and then obviously you could do the same thing with the dennis rodman although i do think the dennis rodman is going to be cheap so we're just going to check him out real quick i'm not really interested in dennis rodman i think most of you guys would not be i mean some of you may want like a good defender and i understand that i mean he's already a buy now if you want to snipe dennis rodman the way you do it is you just find the cheapest version of him he's i said i've already seen one for 50k but he's going to be going down in price right now because he's new in the packs. Look at that, 30K even. So you just find the cheapest Dennis Rodman. And then you, you adjust the filter to where if you were to see, or I mean, you adjust the filter to where you're still going to make profit off of a Dennis Rodman snipe. So obviously you have to do the math yourself to figure that out. Look, at this is even 23,000, 20,000 MT. That's how cheap this card is. So it's gonna, this is going to be a budget filter for sure. If you want a quick Dennis Rodman snipe, it shouldn't be too hard to get. All right, so for Lonzo Ball. A way to snipe Lonzo, I'm assuming Lonzo, there's a chance that Lonzo actually goes to a buy now. The reason I say that is because we do have pink diamond point guards who are tall, who are buy nows. So take a look at Oscar Robertson. He's six, oh, he's six, five. I, I think, uh, I think Lonzo is a little taller than that. I think Lonzo is what, six, seven, if I'm not mistaken, but six, five is a good height. We also got Penny Hardaway, who's six, seven, who's a buy now, you know, um, and I think there's a couple other ones. So there's a chance that Lonzo ends up being a buy now, but in the case that he's not, right? In the case that he's not, let's see what he's going for right now. 
Okay, yeah. In the case, how tall is he, by the way? 6'6". Six, six. Okay. So, in the case that he's not a buy now, what you can do is this. You can go Pink Diamond, Team Lakers. And this is going to give you an opportunity at the Shaq right here, Pantheon, and Pantheon Kobe, and then obviously Lonzo. The, those are the, actually, there's five players, five players. But those are the main guys. Those two Pantheon players are the guys you want the most. Obviously, Lonzo too. Now, James Worthy is here. Magic is here. This Magic is still a snipe. He's not, he's, he's kind of old at this point, but I mean, he's still, he's a 6'9 point guard and he's going for a good amount of MT. So yeah, you can snipe that as well. Now what you could do, you can go Pink Diamond Lakers point guard if you want to go specifically to get Magic and Lonzo only on the filter. If Lonzo happens to be a snipe that is like above 100K MT, you can do this. If he's not, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. Also, if he is above 100K MT, what you could do to filter out the James Worthy, you have you have an option of either just buying him straight up because he's a, he's he's not expensive, he's cheap. As you can see, that one's going for 50K. You could probably find him for cheaper. Oh, there's a LeBron on here too. Ah, I didn't even know that. Mm, that's another man. It's another man for you to snipe. So I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that card existed. That's how you know I don't keep up with this stupid game. Anyway, so yeah, you can go the filter Pink Diamond Lakers and you would put the minimum buyout to 500, I mean not 500, 100K, as well as the minimum bid to 100K if you didn't want to buy James Worthy, that is, because that's going to filter him out. As you can see, no cards are popping up and you're only going to see players that go for 100K MT. Now, one of my uh, subscribers or one of the viewers, one of you guys pointed out that you can actually lower this price here on this filter so to the point where you're, you have a, a higher chance of seeing more snipes which i never pointed out which is actually a good idea because i always forgot about it all right so i'm looking at james worthy right the most expensive james worthy on the auction house right now is this one right here for sixty-eight thousand. so you know usually i tell you guys to set up a filter according to the cheapest of what the cheapest is going for but in a filter like this it's, it's kind of the reverse where you set it to where, what the most expensive is going for so in this case James Worthy is going for 68K. It's kind of unpredictable what someone can post them at. So what you could do is you could put the minimum bid to 75K. I would, you could put it to 70K, but there's a chance that someone posts one for 70K, so I wouldn't risk it. So I would just put 75K, the minimum buyout as well, put these both to 75K. And then at that point, you're gonna have more options of snipes you can see because if you put it to 100K, 100K, you're only gonna be able to see snipes that go up for 100K, 100K. But in this case, if I put it like this, no cards are still popping up. But at the same time, if someone posts a Pantheon Kobe for uh, 80,000 MT, I can see it as opposed to if I was on the 100K version of this filter, I wouldn't be able to see it. So that's what I'm saying. Now, if someone starts to post, if, if James Worthy start going up for 75K, then you just increase the minimum bid, increase the minimum buyout, maybe by like 5,000 MT, and then you're good. That's why you want to find the most expensive one. The most expensive one, set it up to the price near that, and there you go. You, you're giving yourself a chance at more snipes like this. Now, if Lonzo happens to be a buy now, I probably wouldn't even be interested in sniping him. But if you were, you can snipe him the same way that you would snipe uh, Dennis Rodman. Obviously, just go retro theme Lonzo and then just find the and just snipe him up to the cheapest one. Right. The same way that you know, I always set up the budget filters and um, all, all those kinds of filters that are under 100K. So for Giannis, there's a couple things you can do with Giannis. There's two Pink Diamond Giannis's in the game at this point, right? So this one, I'm not sure if this is going to get you profit. 38 minutes left, 100K bid on there. So I don't know if he's going to make profit or not. Only you guys would know that when this video goes live and, you know, obviously more time has passed on this. So, but right now that I'm recording this, I don't know. But if this Giannis is giving profit, if he is, what you can do is just go Giannis Pink Diamond, and then you're, you're only gonna see those two Giannis's. And if the old Flash Giannis is given profit, then obviously you wanna use this filter. Just buy his name, Pink Diamond, 500 MT, minimum buyout, and you will make profit. But if he's not giving much profit, if the Flash one is not giving much profit, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. And instead, I would do just have to snipe him by his theme, which would be retro. You can also do like low key, uh let me see a division he's in the central maybe like power forward let me see I, he might be the only power forward on the on on this yeah he's the only power forward on here this would be the same this is exactly the same filter as just going retro Giannis. so there's no point in doing this but 
I mean, if honestly, if the Flash Giannis is not given profit, then I would just snipe this Giannis by his theme or right here, Power Forward, Pink Diamond Central. It's the same exact thing. And then lastly, Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan. You want to snipe Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan. Very, very self-explanatory. Just Galaxy Opal Filter. This still works as there are no Galaxy Opal buy nows as of yet. The cheapest one is Fred Van Vliet, and he's going for like 200K from what I see. Right? Let me see. Even higher than that. So, yeah, there you go. Snipe, good luck, guys, on these filters. Let me know if you get anything or if you miss anything in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If it helped you, I'll subscribe, and i catch you in the next one. Peace out.